we're making harvest corn patterns. Abram, today we are gonna be making something that looks similar to this. Have you ever seen a stalk of corn before? No, okay, well, I went to visit my brother in Oregon and I'm gonna show you guys what I found there. Hey guys, I'm here in Portland, Oregon at an ornamental corn farm and uh, I'm gonna just show you what we're making today. It's gonna kind of look like this ornamental corn that's behind me. I'll show you a close up. Okay, so corn has this husk around it and if you open up the husk, this is the cob in here and again this is ornamental corn meaning you can't actually eat it. See how the corn in this video is different colors? We're used to seeing corn that's all yellow and sometimes yellow and white. But this corn has browns and reds and burgundies and all types of colors. So that's kind of what we're going to replicate today with our corn. Okay. Shall we see what's in our kit today? Yeah, let's do it. Okay. We have a card. And four pipe cleaner. And some beads. And we don't need anything else in our kit today. We have everything we need right here. Yeah. And if Abram and I ever go too fast and you guys need to catch up, you can always pause the video and catch up with us later. And if you didn't understand some instructions or it wasn't really clear, you can always rewind the video and press play and watch it again. Okay, Abram, you see our card right here. These are the ideas for our patterns. So we have the most popular pattern is AB pattern. Did you ever learn that in like kindergarten, AB pattern? You never did? Okay, so it's part of math. So in math we learn AB pattern would be like red, blue, red, blue. A being the red and B being the blue. Does that make sense? What we need to do first is organize our beads into colors. We're going to do white, yellow, brown, and orange. So go ahead and you guys can organize your beads into these colors. When you're doing this at home, you might want to just grab like some paper towel or a towel or some bowls or something to organize all your beads. You definitely want to do this on a flat surface like a table or a counter or even a floor so the beads don't roll off mm -hmm. and disappear on you. Do you know why making and recognizing patterns is even important? Why does this even matter? Why? Patterns help us organize information and make sense of the world around us. A pattern exists when a set of numbers, colors, shapes, or sound are repeated over and over again. Patterns can be found everywhere, including animals, plants, and even the solar system. We find patterns in math, but we also find patterns in nature, art, music, and literature. Patterns provide a sense of order in what might otherwise appear chaotic. Researchers have found that understanding and being able to identify reoccurring patterns allows us to make educated guesses, assumptions, and hypothesis. It helps us develop important skills of critical thinking and logic. Now that we have all of our beads organized into A, B, C, and D, we're going to get our pipe cleaner and start making our corn on the cob. Okay, you're gonna take your four pipe cleaner that you have, and we are going to find the middle of all four of these. So if you line them up at the top right here, and try and get the bottom to match up with the top, just like that, okay? Then where you see this curl right here, this part where they're curling in half, you're gonna put a little crease right there, just a little pinch, so that you know where the halfway point is. Once you know that, now we're going to take two pieces and twist them together. So right at that halfway point, just give it one, two, two little twists. Take your next piece, you have it folded in the middle. Same thing, you're going to wrap it around that X and give it two twists. Right, and the twist has to be right there by that knot, by that middle. So you've got to really pinch it good with your fingers. Twist, twist. Okay, now open that up. 
This is looking pretty good so far. Last one, we're gonna wrap it around all of those pieces right there in the middle. Pinch it really tight right here. Look, I'm pinching it here with my right hand. With my left hand, I'm really giving it a tight, a tight twist right there. And now, if you open them up, spread them all out. That is exactly what it should look like. Now let's start with our first pattern here. That is the simplest pattern and that is A, B, A, B, A, B. Now each row you have enough for 10 to 12 beads, okay? So when we're making our pattern, we're going to choose which one we want to be A for this pattern and which one we want to be B. And you guys can make it your own. It doesn't have, you don't have to do exactly how I do it. I'm gonna choose orange and brown. So orange is gonna be A, brown is gonna be B. What are you gonna choose? Orange is gonna be A, yellow is gonna be B. Okay, good. Let's start, we're gonna go A, and you're not gonna put it all the way to the middle of your corn. You're going to put it about two finger distance up from the middle of your corn. So we have A, B, A, B. So A, B, that's just another way of saying orange, brown, orange, brown, right? Or in your case, orange, yellow, orange, yellow. Let's see how many I have. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That's perfect. If I wanted to add one more, I could to make it 12. You don't want to go over 12. Good, so we have our first mathematical pattern yeah. for our corn. Good, let's do let's do a harder one next. Should we do a harder one? Yeah. Let's do um, this one right here. It says A, B, A, C, A, B, A, C, A, B, A, C. That's a lot, but is it still a pattern? Yeah. Yes, because it repeats itself three times. Okay, so for this one, I'm going to have my white be A, my brown is gonna be B, and my orange will be C. My brown will be A, my white will be B, and my orange will be C. Okay, let's do it. A, B, A, C. A, B, A, C. Now the reason this one is a little more difficult is because it's going back to A between each other color. It's going back to A after brown and back to A after orange. First, see how I'm keeping my fingers right here so I'm sure that they don't go too low on my corn stalk here. And the best thing I love about this project is if you make a mistake with your pattern, you'll be able to see it real quickly. If you accidentally put um, a B next to a C when there was supposed to be an A or something like that, you'll be able to recognize it because your eye is trained to see patterns more than you believe it is. You'll be able to see something that doesn't fit in with the pattern right away. And the great thing is, if you make a mistake, you can just take the beads off, it's that easy. Uh, now I wanna introduce one more letter into our pattern. What letter is that? D. That's right, D. Okay, so let's find a pattern that uses D. What about this first one, A, B, C, D? A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Yeah. We can do that, right? Okay, so I'm going to have all four of my colors now, white, brown, orange, and yellow, and that's going to be A, B, C, D, A, B, C, D. Ready? A, B, C, D. It's almost like I'm saying the alphabet, but I'm just starting over again. A, B, C, D.
Okay, now that I've shown you how to make your pattern with your beads on your corn, you can do your own pattern. So you can follow mine right here. I have lots of patterns here, or you can make your own. Just make sure that your pattern repeats itself. That's what makes it a pattern. So you can pause the video right now and do all the rest of your patterns. Once you're caught up to the end and every piece of pipe cleaner has a pattern on it, then you can press play and I'll show you how to put this all together. Done. Oh, awesome. Okay, we have a lot of patterns going on here. Let's see. Let me see if I can figure out what patterns Abram made. A, B, B, A, B, B, A, that's good. A, B, A, C, A, D, wow, that's a good one. Okay, these all look really good. Great, so we're going to put that middle down on the table and bring them, bring all those pieces up into the middle and group them in a bunch. Now you might see here that some of the beads need to come up or be pushed down so that they can all be seen, and that's fine. You can kind of fidget with it a little bit. Okay, see how that's starting to make our little corn? Now we're gonna take our longest piece that we have. They might all be kind of the same, but take one of your longer pieces, and you're gonna want it to be on the outside so you have like this wiggle room. Good, so we have that out there. And you're going to wrap it so tightly around all of these pieces so tight around everything and just keep going around and around until it's all done okay so Abram had his up here and I don't think I was clear enough on this part so we're gonna undo it you need it you need to tie it at the top of your beads right here because you want a little bit of this stem showing gonna take our longest one and he did this one right here which is fine and you are going to wrap it around the top of all of your beads see right there at the very top of all those beads that way you have this part good and I'm gonna get that a little squeeze so it's nice and tight now I like it just the way it is but you also need to kind of plump it out because we want it to look like a nice plump full ear of corn and these, of course, the pipe cleaner has wire inside of it. Now you don't want it to look like a pumpkin, but just enough to make it look like some corn. And then these can kind of be like bent and going in different directions. Some can be straight if you want, just kind of like that. Nice, that looks really good. And now what can you do with this is that you can have it as a decoration at Thanksgiving time or during the fall and uh, you will know that it looks so good because it has mathematical patterns on it. It's not just random. It has those patterns that actually make a lot of sense in our mathematical mind, don't they? Yeah. So what did you think of our project today? It was so good. It was so good. Abram is one of my Winkle kids. He has been an art student of mine for a while and now he gets the Winkle box every month, right? Yeah. What's been your favorite project so far in the Winkle? The car one. The, the propeller one. car? Yeah. Yeah, that one was in, I think the September box. That was yeah. really fun. Okay, and what else? The water wheel. The water wheel, that was in the February box. That one was really fun too. Sounds like you're gonna be maybe an engineer when you grow up. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Well, thanks everyone so much for joining us today. We would love to see how your mathematical corn turned out. If you have a grown up, take a picture or video of you making the corn today, or just the final product of the corn, have them post it on social media. And you can tag us at the Winkle Crate. That way we can see what you made and how it turned out. Thanks everybody. Bye. Bye. Happy fall, y'all.